up in this video i'll be showing how you can easily color grade your photos when you you are using capture one so for those that have always requested me to do a video about capture one color grading this is a video for you so simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe i request simply hit the like button on this video and don't forget to subscribe so in capture in order to import the raw images select the raw images so for this tutorial i'll be using two photos so i'll just select both images and come and open with capture one and it's going to bring up this other folder where you have to import the images so you can select the images right here manually by checking on them or you can simply pick all the images that are selected and come to import all in order to open them in capture one so we have two images right here and by the way if at all you want to your workspace to look like mine you can simply change the workspace for your capture one to look like mine by simply coming to window workspace and i'll just come to migration so that your workspace can look like mine so this is what i have in capture one so in capture one after importing the images that i want to edit the very first thing i tend to do when it comes to this process is simply working on the basic adjustments like the contrast and light lighting issues so you can start we have these adjustments in capture one like we have in camera or even lightroom so what we want to do in this case, if at all you're lacking any tool within your Capture One, simply right click anywhere right here. So you can right click and come to add tool and add whichever tool you're missing in your Capture One. So after understanding that, the first thing I tend to do in Capture One is correcting the exposure issues and the high dynamic range as you can see right here. So for this kind of image, what we want to correct, we just want to first of all correct the lighting issues. So I'll just correct or take down the highlights just like that. And I'll do the same for the whites just like that. And you can see it corrects the overexposed outfit. You can see or you can turn on the before and after to see what you have. You can see before, after, before, after. So after taking down the highlights and the whites, I'm just going to come and open up the shadows of this very image just like that. Open up the shadows. I'll slightly take up take down the blacks to add more contrast into the dark areas. So in order to add more contrast into this very image, I'll scroll down to where you see the levels and you can see you can bring in the black point and that is going to add more contrast to the image. Or you can even move in the white point just like that to have more contrast within the image. And by just doing that, you have added contrast into this very photo. So after I have created the contrast and lighting issues, you can even brighten up the image if at all you wish to. And correct the white balance if at all your white balance is not desirable or it is not accurate enough. So after I have corrected those adjustments, we are going to scroll down here. And before scrolling, you can notice that Capture One also has layers and it also has these masks. You can select the subject, background or people if at all you have to select those people. So in Capture One, for me to do color grading, the very first thing I tend to do is simply coming to the layer panel. So you can see I've done the basic adjustments on the image itself, which is the image layer. So just come to you see layers right here and click or right click on the plus icon and you come to new field adjustment layer. Yeah, come to new field adjustment layer so after creating a new field adjustment layer the first thing i tend to do or the first thing i will do in this case in order to work on this image in a more non-destructive way i'll just come and first of all color grade the background in this case so i'll scroll down to our colors and you can see that we have color editor like we have in uh, camera Raw. so i'm just going to come to the basic right here and i look at the colors which colors do i want correct for example if i told i want the greens to pop i'll come to the greens right here and you can see by playing around with the hues of the greens you can change or manipulate the greens so i'll just make the greens towards the aqua side and i'll come the saturation so you can you can even make the greens pop a little bit more then i'll come to the lightness and simply take down the lightness slightly to darken the greens in the background so after doing that, I'll come to my blues or even before coming the blues, you can simply get 
to the advanced panel. So under advanced, I'm just going to scroll down and make sure the color picker tool is selected. So I'm just going to click on the color picker and it's selected. It's going to be orange in color. So I'll click anywhere on the sky area and it's going to sample the colors in the sky. So what do I want to do in this case? I'll come to my, you can see it has sampled some blue tones with, within the sky. So I'll just come to the saturation and I'll take up the saturation just like that. And you can see it is going to make the blues pop. Yeah, it is going to make the blues pop and you can play around with the lightness to your liking. You can see taking it down and, but you have to be careful not to overdo this because it is going to create this kind of halo effect within the edges of uh, the background. So what do you want to do? You're just simply taking up the saturation slightly. Then after doing that, we're going to come back to our basic adjustments. I can even come to the blues right here and can even take this a notch higher if at all you wish to. So I'll just leave that. So depending on the colors that you are having in your, in your image or in your photo, you can play around with the colors to your likeness or to your liking. So you can even play around with the hues of the blues to your liking. So let's see where we are right now. I'll simply come to the before and after. You can see before, after, before, after, before, after. So the sky is popping and I've gotten back the information within the sky area. So the next thing I'm going to do in this case, I'll come to the skin tone. So I'll just come to the skin tone. Remember, we are creating color grading on different layers. So when you overdo color grading, you can always come to the layer selected and you come to the opacity and you can even reduce on the opacity of the color grading. If at all you feel like you have overdone the color grading. So I'm just going to go with around 91. It is okay. So I'll create another new field adjustment layer for the skin tone. So right click on the plus icon and create a new field adjust adjustment layer. So after I've created that new field adjustment layer, I'll scroll down. You can see Capture One is very awesome. And this is my favorite tool when it comes to using Capture One. And this is the skin tone. So just come to skin tone. So I've selected skin tone. And under skin tone, I'll just come and make sure the color picker tool is selected. So for this, what do, I, what do I want to do? I just want to sample and make sure that I have uniform skin tones. So I'll zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus, or you can use Command plus on the keyboard and zoom into the model skin. So oftentimes the color of the skin that we sample is going to be from the face of our model or from the face of our subject. So just use the color picker tool and you sample the color of the skin that you want the rest of the skin to look like. So I'll just come and I sample. I feel like that color is okay around that area. And you can see it has sampled a range of colors that fall within that selected area. I'll use command minus to zoom out. And after sampling that color, you can even see the colors that are within that range by turning on the view selected color range. You can see it has sampled colors. So the colors that don't fall within the sampled color range are going to be muted. And you can see the colors where the skin tones are going to be falling are going to be evident or displaying. But we have one issue. Whenever we are trying to match the skin tones, it may affect the outfit in this case. But later on, I'll show you how you can easily correct that. So I'll just come and turn on the view, view selected color range. And you can see that we have the uniformity option within Capture One. So you can set under uniformity, we have hue, saturation, and lightness. So when you come to lightness right here, or uh, when you come to uniformity, you're just going to first of all come to the hue slider and start taking up the hue slider. And as soon as you start taking it up, you can notice that the skin is going to start getting uniform. But the uniformity slider doesn't work alone. It also works with other options right here. So just come the hue slider and also start taking it up as you are looking at the skin. So these values are going to be varying from one image to another. So I'll just take up the saturation slider and even take up the hue slider until when I feel like the skin is uniform enough. So right now the skin is even and uniform, but sometimes as you're sampling color from the skin, we may sample a color that is falling within the green range or the red range. So in order to correct that, you can see for this case, our skin is more on the red or the magenta side. So to correct that kind of issue, 
we are simply going to come to where you see amount and under amount you can see that we have few you can even take down the amount slider of the colors by taking it down so that the colors don't look over saturated and when the skin is looking yellow red or green in color you can correct that by moving the hue slider so if at all for our case we have more reds in the skin tone you can even add greens so the opposite of red is going to be green so move the slider towards the right hand side to eliminate the red color in the skin tone or if at all for your case you have more greens you can eliminate the greens by moving the slider towards the opposite of green which is the magenta side introducing more reds so depending on what you want so i'll just take this towards the right hand side which is the green side so when you feel like the saturation is too much for your liking just come to the saturation slider and you can simply desaturate it to your liking so i'm just going to I take this higher just like that so right now we are done working on the skin tones and everything looks okay apart from the makeup or even the outfit of our subject but remember as you're trying to color grade these images we have one issue that very issue is going to be the change in color the outfit changes especially if at all the subject is putting on red or whatever color and that is why the masking is going to come into place but the reason that's why i chose to use these images is because the outfit is close to the model's skin tones the two are having more of the same color so before you go into the masking process always make sure you copy the color grading if at all you have images from the same shoot or same session how do we copy the color grading so that you don't go through the whole process of color grading once again so we're going to come to where you see adjustments right above there and you come to copy adjustments yeah adjustments and you simply copy the adjustments so select the image the next image that you want to color grade from the same shoot or same location come to adjustments and simply come to where you see apply adjustments and by just doing that is going to be applying that color grading to the next image yeah so after it has done that what do you want to do you can simply apply the color grading on only the skin by eliminating the color grading for example from the background or even other areas that you did not want to be affected so for this case analyze the image look at the image that you have edited and you see what colors are being affected so for example for the second image you can see if at all i turn on the before and after you can see it has even affected our background which we don't want to happen so what are we going to do in this case we only want to the color grading to be on only the skin of our subject so for this case we are just going to come and we start masking the colors from other areas by using a brush so i'm just going to come to our skin tone layer sorry i did not rename this and i clear the color grading yeah come to the skin tone layer and i clear the color grading so right click on that skin tone layer yeah and i'm just going to come and i clear the mask so just come right click and clear the mask and it's going to eliminate the overall color grading from the overall image so in order to bring back the color grading we are simply going to come and we press m on the keyboard the reason for pressing m is because we want uh capture one to show us the mask for the painting process especially on the skin tone so we're going to come to the brushes and get this brush tool so the brush tool so everywhere we paint the mask is going to be displaying or indicating a red color so we just want to color grade the skin so this is for instances or for cases whereby the outfits or even some areas in the background have been affected by color grading you don't have to do this every single time so I'll just come and i start painting using the brush so just get the brush tool make sure the layer that has the color grading for the skin tone has been selected so I'll just quickly paint just like that and i mask on the skin so I'll just come and paint on the skin 
Remember, I have activated the mask or the mask and I'll just come and paint on the skin. Remember, good photos or good results take time. So you have to take your time. This may look a little bit time wasting, but uh, the results are going to be amazing as usual. And if at all you want to create a difference as a photographer, always invest a lot of time in your post-production or in editing. If at all you want the photos to be uniform every single time. So I'll paint on the skin. So I'll make sure that I've painted on each and every area that has skin. You can see just like that. On the hand or on the arm. Depends on what you want to call it. So I'll quickly do this. You can increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys to have a bigger brush to paint. So personally, I'm using a graphics tablet. So that is why uh, I'll be quickly painting. So, so after that, you can press M to hide uh, the mask. So control minus. So you can see the before. After, before, after, before, after. The skin tones are looking nice and uniform. So let's come to image number two. This is Im image number two and also the background has changed. Remember, we first of all copied the color grading. So if I told you have a number of images, first paste every color grading on those images and you can mask later on. So I'll come and I clear the mask. After clearing, I'll get the brush tool, press M, so M is for mask to display or to hide off the mask. So M, you can display the mask or you can display the mask. So I'm just going to come using the brush tool and simply or quickly paint. And if at all you make a mistake as you're painting, you can simply get the eraser tool like we have in Photoshop and you can erase color grading from a given area or a specific area. So I'm just going to quickly paint on these areas and I show you the result. So I'm just going to quickly paint just like that on each and every area that contains or has skin tones in this case. So I'll paint just like that quickly because I don't want the tutorial to be a very long one. So I'm just going to paint just like that. So paint. So for areas that you make a mistake, get the eraser tool or you can use E on the keyboard and the eraser is going to rub or erase so m to hide or deactivate the mask so you can see the before and after for everything before after before after before after we have not affected other areas like the outfit so with the eraser tool you can correct those mistakes so take your time as you're doing all this so you can come to our image and you can even brighten it up by coming to the image layer and simply brighten up the image so right now we have been able to color grade these two images. So after doing all this, you can select both images and holding down Ctrl or Command and come to Image, Edit With, select the Photoshop version that you want to use to edit the images. And personally, I prefer to take TIFF images. They may be a little bit heavy or large in size, but this is what I prefer or this is what I do for higher quality images into Photoshop. So. I take TIFF images, 16-bit and uncompressed into Photoshop, ISIS profile, Adobe RGB 98, then resolution 300 pixels per inch, the scale is always fixed at 100%. Then I leave all the crop settings to the default. Then next what I do, I feel like this is all I do and I'll simply come to edit variant to edit uh, the image into Photoshop. So these images are going to go straight into Photoshop for me to do the skin retouching and other kinds of adjustments in color grading. So this is what I tend to do when it comes to editing photos in Capture One and color grading. And if I told you I've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If I told you I've been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for your for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating